Hello, my name is Bobby and I'm a customer success manager for the Script Runner team. And in this video, I'm going to be taking you through some UI changes for the behaviors feature in Script Runner for Jira Cloud. For a little bit of background, behaviors on cloud requires you to identify the affected fields. This is a requirement that we need to be able to use the UI modification API that Elastin have provided us. So previously, when creating behaviors, you would have been asked to define the affected fields once you had set the mappings up. So previously, when you go through here, you would have set your mapping up, projects, issue types, and then here you would have been asked to select an affected field. Now, this wasn't the most efficient way to do this for a number of reasons, the main one being scale. If, for example, I have 10 custom fields, and depending on the value of an 11th primary drop down, I would hide five and show five. And then if another option was selected, I would show the other five and hide the other five. If I was doing mass logic like that, I would need to have created that behavior 10 times, one for each field. I would have had to have selected the effective field and then pasted the script in there. Not only would that take me a while to set up, but also if I was to have to modify that logic, I'd have to change it in 10 separate locations. So we've made a change to the behavior feature, which means you no longer need to select the affected field. So you don't need to choose the affected field. Script Runner will automatically detect those affected fields for you. So you can see here, I have a script. And if I go and look at the script real quickly, I'm just going to run through this. It's a very simple example, the one I just gave, but with two fields rather than 10. So we get the primary drop down here. We get the value of that drop down. And then we also get two sub drop downs. And then based upon the value, if it's A, we show one and we hide two. If it's B, we hide one and we show two. And if it's anything else, we hide both of them. So you can see in this script, there are two fields that are going to be affected fields, both of the child drop downs. However, I don't need to define that. It's automatically calculated by this script. So to show you this working, if I go and add another thing here, so I'm going to say get field by ID. And I'm going to get the description field. I'm then going to set the description of description to hello world. So now you can see we now have three affected fields, the two previous drop downs and the description field. I don't need to do anything else. I can just click save. Script Runner will calculate based upon your script what the effective fields are going to be and define those for you. So you can see here now I've been the number has been increased from two to three and the description is now included as an affected field. This makes life easier for you, not only setting up behaviors with mass logic, but also managing and maintaining them so that if there are any changes you need to make in the future, there's just one script and one location you need to make that change. Thank you very much for your time. Have a great day.